So what we're going after today is a simple ankle articulation, especially in a wheelie. It's just covering that rear brake, but it's got to happen fast. In order to get that speed, we're going to try and develop something called muscle memory, which is as you can see here, a way that it just becomes automatic. So before we get all the way into that ankle articulation, we're just gonna do some wheelies here and press that rear brake, take that wheel up a little bit higher, a little bit higher until pressing that rear brake becomes normal. I'd say probably a thousand repetitions or more should do it. Now, the reason why I'm learning to turn that toe and cover the rear brake is because when riding steps and bigger obstacles like this, you can see pro riders, their toes are down. In order to get the lift and the leverage, their foot is not covering the rear brake until they get right up about at that point. So after jumping off the bike and getting cleanly up the obstacle and getting traction on the face, it's right there that you can see he's going to turn his toe and cover that rear brake. Now, before we get to those type of obstacles, we're going to practice some simpler drills here. So this is just ankle articulation, foot on the ground, just getting comfortable with where that is without having to look down at it. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and put your bike into a wheelie because you know that when your front wheel is higher than your back, your brain starts going to this foggy moment of, oh crap. So I'm just practicing that ankle articulation, finding that rear brake, as you can see. Now we're going to go ahead and do it from static. So now I'm incorporating the balance component into this, and then I'm going to throw in the deep knee bend. How easily can I find that rear brake when it counts? We're just slowly adding more and more elements to this so that it's muscle memory. To probably also mention that it's clutch in rear brake. And if you haven't seen my other wheelie videos, I'll put a playlist down below, but clutch in rear brake. And if you put your foot down, that's all right. So now I'm going to progress this drill to its final stage. I'm actually doing this from static balance. I'm going to go ahead and take my toe from the rear brake to off the rear brake and then back on, as you'll see here. It's covering the rear brake, now coming off, deep knee bend, driving up, and then back to the rear brake again. Now, depending upon the circumstance, you might not have to take your toe off of the rear brake. You might be able just to roll into a step, but this is something that's becoming more muscle memory, on the brake, off the brake, on, off, and you just don't know when you're gonna need which technique. And so this is the part of my training that I'm incorporating because these pro riders are doing so much with the rear brake and ankle articulation. No one else is talking about it. You don't even realize it. Don't want that to happen right there. So to put it all in final practice, I'm working on my splat wall and it's on this move right here that I'm getting good lift, toes are down, and then I've got to quickly cover the rear brake right there and bring it back down safely.